Hey guys, it's me from Jessica, and as you can tell by the title, thumbnail, and like the few couple seconds of this video already, this is not gonna be a regular video. So they got me like, they got me like set up and I'm going to go have a procedure done in a little bit, like probably 30 minutes. So we're waiting now. They did the IV and they hooked me up to the heart monitor, so yeah. And Leah and welcome back to our channel. So in this video well at least later in this video We are going to be showing you guys some outfits and you guys are gonna decide what we're gonna wear for the first day of school But before we get into that we're gonna kind of just try to Explain you know some of the clips you just saw and just talk about what's going on right now kind of mostly in 2021 um, but those clips you just saw those were from earlier this year, honestly, I'm just gonna try to explain the best, like, not going into too much detail, because I have a more detailed video on my channel for just officially for Jessica. <laughs> I posted it yesterday, and if you want a better, ex like, explanation, go check out that video. But for now, um, we just want to tell you guys what's been going on kind of health-wise, so here we go. Um, basically, if you don't know, I've been having stomach problems to say the least since like 2019 ended up in the hospital that year and I don't know I stayed for a couple days and they ran tests and stuff they ended up coming to the com conclusion that I have IBS and I got it under control for for I think 2020 like that was the year that it kind of got better but then in 2021 started earlier this year it came back more things came along with it and it was just yeah it hasn't been good so far this year so we ended up starting to go back to my GI doctor and that's when he started running a ton more tests like taking blood work doing ultrasounds we ended up checking my gallbladder for its functionality percentage I think um, so I was under the machine um, and then there was just a lot of tests that were ended up running and nothing ever gave us answers because, you know, it just, there wasn't a clear explanation of what was going on, but there was clearly something on top of kind of IBS that there, we just haven't figured out. So after running to the doctors, I still needed kind of more of a long-term treatment, something that'll make me feel better because it's like, I have stomach pain literally almost every day and it's just hard living with it, you know, because it takes away from your life so much. You've got to sit out on a lot of things, like not being able to participate in some things, and it just sucks overall. So that's why we have been trying to find a long-term treatment, but in order to do that, you got to get to the base issue first. So when I went to the doctor, I think it was like Monday, right? And so we went to the doctor, and we were just going to try to figure out what to do next. The symptoms kind of got worse along with other things just all together it wasn't looking good so we got booked for an emergency colonoscopy and endoscopy literally the next day so it was honestly shocking and unexpected but they ended up did they did end up finding something that kind of explained why I had these symptoms uh, I'm not going to go into too much detail because we're still waiting on path up pathology results um, that's going to come next week Thursday so then we'll have official answers but for now they did find that my colon and like my stomach was inflamed um, kind of a lot and I have like ulcers and stuff like that going on and that's that's a, kind of an explanation for the stomach pain and now we're just getting to the bottom of what's really going on so finally we're looking at some answers and it might take a week, but I'm willing to wait, and it's kind of going to be a relief knowing exactly what's going on, but we just wanted to let you know because 
clearly when you're not in the best physical health condition it can be hard to do YouTube and that's why sometimes we're in inactive or sometimes you're not even seeing me in Instagram posts as much as Leah or shorts or TikTok or whatever it's just not always I'm in the mood or physically able to do that kind of stuff and sometimes she just runs out of energy so she yeah. can't do any videos or mm -hmm. like she yeah. always has to lay down flat on yeah because like, once once stomach pain hits either after eating or whatever like it's unpredictable really and that's when you know like oh great it's here now it's gonna be here for a while so that's when I just kind of try to manage the pain, but it never really seems to go away. It's almost every single day on top of other things. And it's just a lot, and it definitely takes away so much energy from me. So, yeah, having the, you know, motivation and the energy and the commitment for YouTube can be hard on top of stomach pain. And I do feel awful, like seriously, I feel so bad, but it's kind of out of my control and that's why we're telling you guys now, so you have somewhat, somewhat of an explanation, and I just know you guys are very understanding, and I hope you do understand this situation we're in right now, and we just wanted to thank you for all the love and support, especially on my last video as well, and on our Instagram. It's so overwhelming, and so you guys are so incredible and so sweet, and I just wanted to thank you for all the well wishes. It means a lot, but for now, we're just waiting on results, and... We're waiting on confirmation because we got told that it could be one of two things and that's why we're not going to disclose that yet until we find out exactly what it is. So that's the update for now, the you know little life update, but for now let's get into the real point of this video which is back to school. I never thought I'd be saying this again, it feels like summer just started, but we are in the back to school season now. Literally, our school starts at 23rd. It's when we're, yeah. It's the this is posted on the Yeah, we're filming on the 14th, but yeah. this is posted on the 15th. So that gives us like nine, eight days, eight or nine days. If I, you know, my math is way off. But like, no. that's really scary and really sad, but I feel like the main struggle everyone has for back to school is the outfit. Okay. Okay. The first day of school outfit is like I feel like the first week of school is gonna be a whole fashion show, right? Yeah. So we went shopping a few days ago and we got a bunch of clothes and we were actually waiting on the Shein package that was supposed to come throughout this week, but it never came. So too bad, so sad. Yeah. But I mean, we already have a bunch of clothes. We have three outfits each picked out, mm -hmm. and and you, you guys like, can comment down below which outfit we could wear for the well they like, actually can't comment down below but well, if you go to our community section there will be a post and you guys will be able to put your votes in there so let us know we're gonna do a little haul and a little fashion show and you guys will get to take your pick on who, what you think we should wear for the first day of school so without further ado let's show you guys the outfits our outfit number one so as you can tell we got a stick and dress code so all of our jeans the rips can't be above the knee so I think we found good jeans because they're just little rips on the knee and I really like these jeans anyways because I don't know they're very distressed at the end and I think that's they look really cool and I I'm also gonna be these are the just the shoes I have right now but I'm probably gonna get new shoes for the new school year so Probably some form of white shoes, maybe Air Forces, who knows, but anyways, on top of, you know, these jeans, I wanted to have just a plain black shirt paired with a very light white zip up, just because it's still kind of hot, so nothing too heavy and wintry, but I think this is good and I just paired it with some like gold accessories and jewelry. These are really worn out rings, so like they're not perfectly gold, but who knows. And then these are just my earrings, and there's a moon and a sun, and I don't know. I kind of wanted to spice it up because it's a pretty simple outfit, but, you know. How about these? I think it's, I think it's, you know, those are some shoes. Pairs well together. Um, and here's going to be my backpack. It's a clear backpack, obviously, because for middle school, they're requiring us to have clear backpacks again, so, boo. I... 
definitely would have liked, you know, a nicer backpack, but clear will have to do. Anyways, do your outfit haul. Okay, so these are my shoes. They're just plain white shoes, and they're kind of like Adidas, but like, you know, just some simple white shoes. I've had these for a while, and they're really comfortable and nice, so that's what I'm wearing for like every single day of school. And then I just have these jeans. Um, they're pretty simple. They're like dark colored and a few rips, and I really like about these rips because um, they don't really show a lot of skin, you know, they're just like little rips, and I think that's perfect for the dress code. And then I got this little shirt. I really, really love this pattern. It's like a very nice color and then little white lines, and I feel like this will be perfect for the first day of school. And then I just have this simple white jacket, and since it's going to be like fallish, um, I just have this yeah. little jacket. The good thing about jackets is that you can kind of wear them however. You can zip them all the way up, zip them halfway up, wear it off the shoulder, take Easy. it off, and no. Yeah, you can take it off, maybe tie it around the waist, like, ta -da. Oh. And okay, all yeah. of them stick in dress code, so we're good for that. And, and then, this is my backpack. Um, if you've seen my video on Officially Leah, like last year when I did back to school shopping, we were doing online, but I bought a back I I bought a backpack just in case we went back in person. And now we're going in person, so I'm just using that backpack. And this is my plain old water bottle and my only oop my only decoration. Squish one. <laughs> yeah, I have a little Chicago keychain that I got at the airport, so that's kind of my only way to spice this plain old backpack up. And then I just have a binder in my lunchbox in here. Okay, so let us know what you think about our outfits down below. I really like mine and I think it'd be good for the first day of school. Keep oh, it my it simple. earrings are just hoops and a little stud. Yeah. From K and... So, anyways, this is option number one. Let us know your thoughts and let's go to outfit number two. Outfit number two, here we are. What are your thoughts so far? Okay, describe the outfit. So obviously you've already seen these shoes, just white tennis shoes. And then I have these jeans that are a little lighter than the other ones and they don't have rips, but I think they really match with this little hoodie. Okay, so it's not really a hoodie, it's like a really thin hoodie. It is a hoodie, but it's really thin. So it's second and I shirt. But yeah, my my, where'd my jewelry go? It disappeared. <laughs> okay, here it is. Um, this is actually from Francesca's um, dresser. <laughs> yeah, she's very nice. nice jewelry. And piece. then I just, I got these both from TJ Maxx and these from, I don't know, my mom got them for me. But yeah, and my hair is from my body and then my earrings are from my ears. So. Yeah, that was very, you described that perfectly. Anyways, here is my outfit. It's a little simpler. Um, I do have a belt with this one, but it doesn't really show because the shirt covers it. Um, so, here we go. Same shoes as last time. Probably not going to wear these to school as often, but you get the point. They're going to be white shoes. These are different jeans. These are kind of baggy, baggy-ish mom jeans, kind of cuffed. They do have a rip up here, except it's covered, so I don't think it really counts as a rip because it's not showing my leg, right? Hopefully. Um, <laughs> so, then we have the belt. I actually got these pants from Sheen, by the way. Um, and then this shirt I got from TJ Maxx. It's like Columbia, and it's kind of like tie-dyed pattern, but I think it looks cool with the jeans. And then I have different jewelry. This time I have an infinity necklace, but I think I'm wearing backwards. Um, I have this choker again, and I have gold earrings. This is like a paper clip, I think, or like a paper, some kind of clip. And then a little... That is not a paper clip. What is it? A base? That, that looks like a candle or something. That, it's not a candle, it's like one of those little... Do y'all know what I'm talking about? Or like a clothing pin. That's what I mean. So, that is what is going on with the jewelry. Same rings, but I just have um, some really worn out uh, bracelets from the summer, so, um, yeah, I'm not, like, the craziest person on jewelry, so that's why everything is kind of worn out, because I don't update it as much, or I overwear it, and then it gets kind of rusty, but that's not the point. The point is that it is my outfit! So, yeah, we got our backpacks, the same ones as last time, and, obviously, 
What, let us know what you think about these outfits. Do you like this one better than the first one, or this better? Who knows? Anyways, let's move on to our third and final outfit. Outfit number three, sporty edition. Yep, all our outfits are kind of, you know, with jeans and like, not fancy, but like not sporty. But here we've got leggings. I've got an oversized t-shirt that's really oversized that I ended up tucking in. Um, yeah, so with here, I just have plain black leggings, same shoes as always. And for this outfit, I might actually wear these because they're pretty sporty shoes. Um, then I have this shirt I got from Sheen. And my school is this thing where I actually have to, um, if I want to wear leggings, the shirt has to, you know, cover your butt. So, that's what this shirt can do. So, I can style it, however, and... This fits the dress code. Same jewelry as last time. And yeah, pretty simple. But since we already have to be at school, even though we don't want to, might as well be comfortable, so. Okay, so same same old white shoes. I'm probably gonna wear these every day because those are the only tennis shoes I have. So then I just have these leggings and these are my new favorite leggings because oh, they have pockets and they're just so comfortable and I love it. And I have this print shirt and I love prints and I really, really like this outfit. And then I just have a high ponytail and my glasses. Yep, <laughs> and that is basically it for our three outfit choices. Let us know down below what outfits you think we should wear for the first day of school. So, I honestly like all of them, so... I'm yeah, gonna... they're all very different, but they're all, like, great in their own way. Like, this one is comfortable and casual. The other ones are, like, casual, but, like, looks like you put in an effort and tried, you know? Yeah. So, I just... I'm very lost. I'm very confused. I'm very ma bad at making decisions. So, sometimes you guys have to make decisions for us, and that would be very helpful. So, let us know. I would actually really like to wear this outfit for the first day of school because I feel like it's really comfy and nice and I feel like it wouldn't really make a good impression <laughs> but I feel like I would be more comfortable in my own skin wearing this for the first day of school too. So let us know your thoughts and thank you guys so much for watching. This was a really fun video. I love outfit videos, fashion, style. I love it. And let us know some tips even if you didn't, you know, like an outfit we showed here, let us know what you think would make it better. Based on what you've seen us wear before, what do you think we could add from our closet to make the outfit better? So, let us know. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in our next video. We love you. Bye!